and I put some thought into what it actually means to be wise. There was a time in my life I thought being wise just meant remembering every lesson I learned in my life and never doing that again. Never making the same mistakes. Never trusting anybody again. That's often seemed to be wise in, in my life anyway. I've, I can't tell you how many times in my life I said, I'll never love again. And mostly that was about children. There's so many children who have left Sunrise Ranch who I fully loved and I thought I'm never going to fall in love with another child because they're just going to break my heart. Yeah, that didn't work. Because it doesn't work for life to be stopped by false wisdom. That's the mind thinking it knows better. The mind thinking that it's the boss of how life is going to be. But the ability to allow um, the current, the substance of who you are with the fire that's present to be merged and birth something, oh my God. Lloyd Meeker, who was a founder of, or the originator, the founder of Emissaries of Divine Light, had a phrase that he used often about, um, let love radiate without concern for results. I always um, thought that that could sound very passive. Just be radiant and don't care about um, what's happening in the world. I don't, I don't think that's really the invitation. The invitation is to be so present that that which is moving through you allows the wisdom that is available to be born. Let the fitness of what's trying to be born be born through you and don't judge the results. Because there are things happening that don't fit in those boxes of, oh, this is that, this is this, this is this. I know who you are. I know who you are. I know how you behave. Thank God people have forgiven and allowed me to be new in my life. You know that phrase, be the change you want to see in the world. The only way that's going to happen is if you're your authentic self. And if there is some resonance with the very life force that's animating you, that is you, that is animating and controlling the whole universe. Human beings spend an incredible amount of energy deciding to do otherwise. And it's not only exhausting, it allows um, many toxic things to get solid in your consciousness so that when you want to actually birth something, um, it's important to also realize something's got to die. Some belief about yourself, some whole pigeonhole about yourself. I look forward to how the uniqueness of you gets born today.